Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of SimCity 2013. Alright, so... We got our nice bustling little town here. Nice little community uh, that we're trying to build up so that we can, you know, really focus on the industry. Um, however, you know, all we seem to have at the moment is residential demand, and that hasn't died really all that much. Yeah, this hasn't gone down, I think, since we got here. So... We're just we're looking to to try and uh, to try and get this demand to go to go down enough and to to you know to cater to these various demands so that we have you know the ability to put in some industry and uh, to maximize our uh, our uses uh, usage of industry. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking that we should put in some mass transit. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. You know, we can just pop in. This isn't going to be a massive city, I don't think. So we can just put in a little shuttle bus depot and uh, roll with that. Um, yeah, I know, not enough bus stops. I haven't put any in. Just give me a second. This is a uh, little expensive, but it's all right. Not a problem. We are good. We can afford it. We are making a lot of money at the moment, and people will be happy about this. So, not too much to worry about, I don't think. There we go. Um, and we do have some traffic starting to build up. A little congestion, but... I think that may have to do with the fact that we're getting a bunch of new residential buildings put in and people are moving in like crazy. Um, we are going to expand out a little more and uh, we're going to go ahead and zone some commercial here. Just a little. Not too much. Because there is a little demand, but I don't know if it's actually going to be demand that we can take advantage of because it's it's a faded out color not really sure what that means um but we are going to zone some residential here because just have such insane demand for it that it's hard hard for us to to try and keep up with it and try to allocate space for it that's you know far away from our industry um i mean we're not going to move any closer than this the rest of this area is going to be reserved, I think, for commercial buildings and uh, possibly even some factories, maybe. I don't want to... I, I do not want any of it to be too close to the, uh, the industry because uh, people will complain and the land value will go down. Um, we are probably going to have to put in like a, a high school or something. I'm thinking. At some point or another. I don't know when. Yeah, we can expand out this way. And we're going to. Because we don't have much of a choice. We have to, we have to cater to this demand. Uh, yeah, why not? That's fine. You know, this isn't the uh, most beautifully designed city you've ever seen, but it, it, that's not what we're gunning for, really. We're, we're looking to try and maximize space and, uh, you know, try and pack as many people in here as we can. Um... I think this will be okay. Time being. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to pause here for a second so that I can zone accordingly. Still have that residential demand. We're going to go ahead and cater to it. Um, and just zone in a bunch of residential all through here. 
essentially until the demand dies. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's good for now. And then we'll put in some school bus stops. Um, and then some regular bus stops. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. We're going to put in a high school somewhere over here. I think I would like to put it along this highway, but I don't think we can really do that. I put it right there and we'll have to put in a, in a bus stop like right here. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how that pans out. We're going to get a bunch of low, des uh, low density homes. Or not low density, uh, low wealth homes. Um, you know, but for now, this is fine. Also, it says local businesses establish home offices. Two. I don't see anything. Um, we should probably put in some parks because I don't want, I don't want trailer homes really. Um, you know, this is a nice city. It's a beautiful city. Can't have it tainted by these goddamn trailer homes. Let's go ahead and, uh, just, we're going to put in, I don't know, something like this. Maybe why not? It fits in kind of neatly. A little bit. Not really. It's oddly shaped, but that's all right. Also, the land value over here was poor for some reason. I would like to, to view that. Yeah, it's poor over here. Um, I'm going to try and fix that. I think. See if that helps with anything. Just some randomly placed parks. Um, I think. And we're getting some townhouses now that are coming in. Um, which pack more people. Oh, there's the home office. So we're going to have one massive tower. Eh, <laughs> no, we might have two. After all that zoning, the demand is only going up. This is a little out of control. I would like to zone some more industry, if you don't mind, game. Fine. Ben. Not that too many foam, uh, homes would be able to fit in there. Yeah, I know. High residential demand. I am well aware of the situation. Um... Uh, I don't like how that looks. Not draw the road. Oh, there's a park there. <laughs> Not see that. Uh, let's see. Draw this across, maybe. Like that? Sure, why not? I can't fit that in through there. That's fine. Uh, what's the issue with education? I saw the... Yeah, we're at max capacity, aren't we? How many students are being taught here? 800. Right away. Holy shit. All right. Um, try to maximize the capacity. Eventually, we'll put in a 
a college, a university or a community college, but I don't know where to put that in or when I'm going to put that in for that matter. Um, this area is all going to be residential as well. The surprise of no one. We really have not been given a choice. Go. So that'll come in and then we're going to put in more bus stops. We may actually need that bus terminal now that I think about it. I didn't really consider that the demand would only increase with the m more homes that we put in. But uh, I guess that's how that's going to turn out. Trailer homes? The hell is this garbage? I have to get rid of those. Yeah, I know, I, I know the I know the land value is probably very poor over here. It's still poor over here. Um it's not really great over here. Uh I'm not really looking to get high wealth homes in here that really isn't the point at least not yet um in a community park like right here really trying to decrease this land value over here or not decrease it increase it Get a couple parks in. Burger King is making a lot of profit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, you just got a, <laughs> just got a McDonald's right next to you, though. They're gonna steal all your business. Guys are annoyed you needed workers. I mean, did you expect to not need workers? Oh, well, the Burger King and the McDonald's are both gone. It's quite the tragedy, if you ask me. What? What is the issue? No, I didn't want to click on that. Not enough medium wealth shoppers. Well... I'm trying to remedy that situation, but it appears that we are struggling. <laughs> it's, uh, nothing is ever good enough. The more homes we put in, the higher the demand goes. Let's go out all the way. Might as well. I mean... On. Why? What place building is there? Are you referring to? There is no place building there. You are out of your mind. It's fine. It's fine. Who am I to question it? You know? Who am I to question it? Um, we're gonna go with a grid-like pattern, I think, for the uh, for this area over here. I really need to try and maximize space. Um, because I need to pack in a lot of people. a weird angle. Um, all 
right. Firstly, we're just going to get this out of the way right now. There we go. Select to take this off at the end. Oh, okay. It just disappeared. All right. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more schools after we pull this off. I'm just going to be moving a shit ton of people in here. All yeah, right. Probably going to need more of, uh, of everything once all of these people move in. Um, I know there's an easier way for me to do this. I don't remember the hotkeys. I thought there was a... I don't know. We go. I could plop some of my own buildings to really pack in the medium wealth uh, residence, but I'd rather let it grow on its own. We're going to put in some parks here and there. It's and value over here is uh is atrocious some sports parks There you go. And now we're just going to let it grow. It's going to take some time, but eventually all of this stuff will come in. Really trying to just take care of that residential demand because I would like to build up this area over here, but I can't do that when... I have to focus on this over here. You're truly in suburbia now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go through our resources really quickly here. All right, though. We can accommodate it. We have the money. We have the funds. We have the power. We can do it. I am horribly cold. You know, I say that all the time in these videos. I should really get myself a blanket or put on some socks or not wear shorts. My legs are freezing and my arms are freezing and everything is freezing. Oh, garbage is becoming an issue. I guess Longdong City cannot handle it anymore. Yeah. All right. Well. Put in a garbage dump like right here. Oh, no. The coal plant actually has to... That actually has to go, uh, the whole plan actually has to go right here, so we have to move the garbage dump to a different spot. Um. We can move it over here. I guess, why not? All we have to do is put in a bunch of, uh, incinerators.
bunch of garbage trucks too. Cause why not? There we go. B E A U T I F U L. All right. Go and take care of the garbage because everybody's garbage needs taken care of. There you go. They have all been dispatched. Should really change my profile picture too to update it to the new one. That one is an old one. It's a couple of years old, I think. Should update my username too, but it's origin. I mean, I only use it for this game in The Sims 4. You know, is it really worth going through that hassle? I don't know. Uh we're making a lot of money now. We could afford to lower taxes, which would make people happier. I think we'll do that. There you go. All your taxes are now lower. There you go. You guys should be happier now, I think. I think there's a correlation between that. I don't remember, but I thought there was. I know there is in City Skylines. That may be what I'm thinking of. This is good. This is good. We're getting in uh, getting a bunch of people moving in. They're all annoyed that they needed workers. I mean, you know, we have a, a booming population. I don't understand how you can't find workers. You guys need medium wealth workers, right? We had like all we have in this city are medium wealth workers. I don't understand what the issue is. I mean, there's a lot of demand for low wealth and high wealth. And that's not really something I can remedy. I can't. Uh, I mean, I can't fixate on that because I need, um, you know, like I need, uh, factories and whatnot, but these factories don't have people working in them because they don't have low wealth workers anymore. This is uh this is a little bit of a predicament, I think. May have to plop some low wealth apartment buildings just to have them there. So that we have more low wealth workers. And thus we can appease that demand. I don't know. That's something that we're gonna have to figure out in the next episode. For now though, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. We have really developed suburbia here. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, I mean, like we were just trying to cater to the demand that was given to us. Um, and we have done so. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of SimCity 2013, let me know down in the comment section below, like the video and share it with your friends. Let me know you want to see more of any game series I do here on the channel. The link down to the game is in the description box down below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you very much. And I'll talk to you later.